Recently, Roblox released an event where you can hunt for badges and items in a hundred different games. This event kind of took the place of being a spiritual successor to the egg hunt. This event was instantly met with positivity from the community and I raced to my PC to play it. But some of these games were interesting. Oh my fucking God, dude, fuck that dude. What the fuck was that? Holy fuck, I'm losing my mind. This game sucks. This game genuinely sucks. No, what? Yeah! So come along with me as I take a deep dive into the first edition of the Roblox hunt. The good, the bad, and the 70 million game fam games that somehow got shoehorned into the event. Welcome to the Roblox Hunt, a lesson in quality control. So now that we have an expectation of how this is gonna go, let's dive into the first game I played for the hunt. Roblox Doors. Doors did an amazing job right off the bat, creating a separate mode altogether with an entirely custom map. The challenge of the game was to constantly pull levers and add time to your timer and make it to door 50 before your time ran out. On our first playthrough, we were actually making really good progress and I thought we might actually beat it on our first try. I'm satisfied so far with the progress we're making. But we saw how that worked out. By the way, I am playing all these games with my Twitch chat and Discord server, so go check those out in the description if you want to be in videos like this. After this, we hop back in, and I figured it would only take one more try again, since there were only two monsters to avoid and we weren't having much trouble with the levers, but unfortunately, once again, we underestimated the game. What the fuck? Please let me finish the game. Please let me win. Let me win. Let me win. Fuck it. Let's play again. Everyone fucking queue up again. We're beating this shit. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is making me mad. I'm getting angry. I'm getting a little angry, chat. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. If my party beats it, do I do I still get the badge? Oh, you do? Okay, okay. I'm gonna start tweaking if it doesn't give me this fucking badge. Oh. Unlocked achievement, the hunt, something. Did I get it? 3% complete, okay. So, thanks to my chat carrying me at the very last second, we completed our first badge. I felt like this one safely went into the peak tier on the list, and then we proceeded forward to the next game, Brookhaven. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? How fucking long ago was the last time I played Brookhaven if my avatar is Aaron Yeager with pink bunny headphones? <laughs> what the fuck was I on? Once we finally found the quest details, we found out the quest was just drive around the map and collect 20 eggs. Pretty standard, but at least it was over quick. The next game I ended up in was Need More Friends, which added a little obby area into their game. It was pretty creative and fun, but a little too easy, so I put it a tier below peak. But I was not prepared for how genuinely awful this next game would be. This sucks so bad. You have to try to make an, an event this bad. There we go. Holy fuck. Jelly beans. Whatever the fuck 30 jelly beans means. So, of course, that dumpster fire got sent straight to the biggest dishonor I could bestow upon a game. Next up, I got to try Death Ball, a pretty good spin on the Blade Ball formula, where we had to fight a core blocks boss. It lacked a little bit of creativity since boss battles are already a core function of their game, but it was still fun. I wanted to keep moving on, but for some reason, my chat was very insistent. My next game would be this thing called Escape Running Head. I have no idea what it was, but I figured I'd find it and check it out. This is great. Peak game design, right here. You guys wanna get sponsored by Roblox? Well, do I have the concept for you? I'm supposed to be going there. Of course, of course, of course. Get the fuck away from me! Oh my fucking God. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh my God, thank God. Oh fuck, I'm never fucking playing this game again. 
between hideous map design, an incredibly lazy goal, terrible AI tracking, and a general veil of awfulness covering the whole game, I happily placed it in the band tier. I'm so serious when I say Roblox should be embarrassed that they invited this game to the hunt over other things like Epic Minigames or Jailbreak. The final game was My Restaurant, a big games restaurant tycoon, where once again, you just have to serve 100 customers and play their game like normal. You'll start to see a trend with the big games properties. So from here on out, since there's so many games that in all honesty were either awful or incredibly mid, I'm just gonna start blowing through these and I'm gonna skip over the ones that were boring. We started the next room with Piggy, which had this little small storyline about going back in time to fix a time machine. It was whatever, but me and my viewers really struggled. We spent about 30 minutes just trying to crank out this one singular badge. Ninja Legends, Legends of Speed, Muscle Legends, and pretty much all those games gave me the badge almost instantly, since their quests were pretty much just summed up to play the game for less than a minute. I also played a bunch of roleplay and RPG games that were just like, find random items that randomly spawn. And I was starting to honestly get a little bit worried. <laughs> so far, on this stream, I'd done almost nine badges, but basically all of them were pretty poor in quality. Granted, right before starting this stream, we found out most devs were only given about three weeks worth of dev time, but still, in comparison to other studios, some of these quests were genuinely abhorrent. Even 3008, a game I usually praise all the time for their quality control, just gave you three in-game quests to do, and that was it. Yet somehow it still took me over 30 minutes because I kept doing stupid shit like this. They are watching TV together because they are friends. But nothing could have prepared me for SpongeBob Simulator. GameFam notoriously sucks, but for some reason they have every brand by the by the balls, by the cojones, if you will. They've made official licensed games of Sonic, My Hero Academia, and of course now SpongeBob. This game is basically just Pet Sim with a SpongeBob reskin, worse monetization, and it took me an hour and 26 minutes to get the badge. The goal of the badge was to get to like World 4, so the game was literally just me clicking and farming things for over an hour. Miserable, terrible, worst game I played during the entire hunt. And then they had the absolute gall to put this in my face after I finished. No, I do not want to fucking do that. <laughs> the absolute fucking gall to ask me this. The audacity to put me through fucking hell and then ask me this. I've been streaming this game for 50 fucking minutes. So after a whole stream, I left with nothing but regret. I started the next day with Arsenal, which made an awesome campaign that was, to be honest, probably one of the best out of all the hunt. There were a couple bugs, but the helicopter scene was so damn cool and just redeemed every other bug. And then of course I had to palette cleanse with more game fam slop. The worst, most broken football Roblox game of all time that took us 40 minutes to catch a pass because the game didn't give you proper instructions and it's so fuck. Sorry, that made me, that game just really made me mad. Slap Battles was up next and it was honestly just so incredibly mid. I felt nothing while playing Slap Battles. I'll Be On A Bike was next in line and honestly, I really wanted to avoid this one. I heard so many bad things about it, so I just bought the Roblox Game Passes to unlock all the worlds, then I bought the Game Pass to make my bike fly so I could beat it in like a few minutes. But no. Why wouldn't it let me fly? Why is there a fucking charge beam? They just took 300 Robux for a fucking meter? They gave the game pass I paid for a fucking meter. The bike that's supposed to fly has a meter and can't fly for more than a second. I'll be with the bike devs. If I get my way, you will never see heaven. Anyways, this took me about another 40 minutes, but I, I got through it. Next was Big Paintball, which honestly, I already played a lot, so I wiped it out pretty quick. But next up was Two Player Obby. So I called my friend Sill, and we tried our best to tackle it. Throw, throw me across, throw me across. Okay. Oh, it is Among Us. Don't throw me over there. Why would you throw me? Uh, it's because you have brain damage. That's why. I mean, come <laughs> over. Fix the wires. What if I don't? I don't oh, care. Do I don't get to them! Project Smash is already one of my faves, so beating it was pretty easy. And I thought Blade Ball would be the same since I have so many hours in that too, but no. 
Blade Ball decided to scale their challenges to how much experience you had in game. So while other people only had to get like two kills and like played like three rounds, I had to get 75 kills, 30 rounds, and deflect the ball 300 times for one badge. Why? After all that pain, however, I was still able to move through natural disaster survival, treasure hunting sim, snowboarding obby, a wolf or other, Hello Kitty Cafe Tycoon, and Warrior Cats roleplay. Dream blunt rotation right there. Nothing too crazy happened, so that's why I didn't include anything from them, but before I stop talking about day three, I want to highlight the game we ended with, SCP roleplay. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much from this one, but wow. The models and scenery were so impressive, and even though it was quick, it was such a cool looking game. Big props to the devs for that one. Anyways, day four was pretty boring. Here are the games we knocked out. Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense. Yes, a real game Roblox sponsored for the hunt. Anime Dimension Simulator and All-Star Tower Defense though were pretty quick. Please Donate was awesome and had so much clear effort in it, but my commentary was super boring, so there's no use showing it. But yeah, please donate rocked. I love you guys, please donate. And then I tried to play Deadly Decisions, but it pissed me off, so I rage quit. And that was day four. Cool. After that, I had to go on a seven day vacation to Alabama uh, and catch up on schoolwork and do a bunch of auditions and other stuff. So I figured I'd be fine if I took like a decent break from the hunt and then just came back a few days before it ended. Wrong, wrong. I got back with only 50% completed and 24 hours left in the hunt. I'm. I might have planned poorly here. And so, the greatest lock-in of my life began. Oh, and by the way, some of these devs decided to raise their requirements to get the badges. So yeah, fuck you, developers. Also, this is when the hunt took a really big drop in quality, so there's gonna be a lot of games I won't even bother covering in the script because of how genuinely dog shit they are. But yeah, back to the video. Day five was pretty much mostly slop. I had an easy time with steep steps. It didn't take me too long, honestly, but I can totally see how it may have been tedious and exhausting for other players. Catalog Avatar Creator, though, was really cool. They made like a team deathmatch battle and it's based in like old school Roblox combat and they had like old items and stuff. It was, it was a good time. It was fun. I returned to Deadly Decisions, barely made it through and checked that one off my box too. Undead Defense Tycoon was pretty basic, but to my surprise, the Mimic event was actually pretty terrible. It was super tedious and it took so long and the monster that was supposed to actually hunt us was entirely glitched into a building and I guess I just expected more from the Mimic devs, but I guess it's my bad. So the Mimic just turned into a collect eggs for 25 minutes simulator and that was just not entertaining for anyone. So I was excited to move on to the next one and then my excitement quickly faded. <laughs> Fruit Battlegrounds is probably the most unfit to be in the hunt for one main reason. Their community is genuine ass. The quest for this was to make it to level 15 and get two kills without dying, which wouldn't be awful if the game wasn't full of people waiting to steal your kills that had insane abilities that only the sweatiest and fattest of people could possibly have time to obtain. It took me so long to find two people and then even longer to isolate them and make sure that no one interrupted and editor, uh, feel free to send in a clip of me screaming at this fucking game because I got mad a lot, so you can probably find one pretty easily. Then I got pregnant. Yeah, one of the one of the games is about becoming pregnant and raising a child. So I had, I had to get one of my friends in call and raise them for a badge. Unfortunately, this this is not a bit. Uh, pregnant. I don't know if it's finally got pregnant, please don't say that. Next up was a game called Cheese Tower Defense. Uh, it's, it's just balloons with mice, basically. It was, it was a breeze. Respectively, Adopt Me and Dungeon Quest had pretty okay events. Adopt Me actually included some little mini games and Dungeon Quest had a special quest line. And then we ended the day with a terrible, broken and buggy roleplay game. And then I ended stream, locked in and tried to complete everything else off stream and then leave a few good quality ones for the final stream. And I'm gonna be so honest, <laughs> during this off camera hunt grind, I genuinely wanted to quit so many times. So many of the games made it to the terrible categories here that I genuinely got angry. The fact Roblox let so much dog shit go into this event genuinely upsets me. I'm going to specifically cite two games here, Lumberjack Simulator and Pull a Sword Simulator. One, they are the exact same game. Two, I spent an hour in each of them, respectively, 
and they didn't even really add anything new. Their events were basically just play the game for long enough and grind and then beat some random boss we added. Super disappointing shit, dude. Games stopped having any indication of quest lines too. So the 10 million roleplay games, well, great. None of them had any instructions at all. I was spending almost an hour each on all of these shit games that I was trying to trod through. And that's when it became kind of clear that my objective had to change. I had to single out the games that had basically no extra quests, write them off as irrelevant, and only look at the remaining games that had actual content in them. And so the final day of my journey in the hunt began. What the fuck? Wait, this is cool as hell. Jesus Christ, that thing is terrifying. My spray cans, they're all gone. Will you please help me get them back? Of course, collect my spray cans. <laughs> After playing almost all 100 games, I can safely say the hunt was an awesome event with some amazing gold games involved, but they were drowned out by the mess of poor quality slop. At least more than 50% of the games were either premium payout bait, buggy as hell, or not fun at all. I really hope we get more events like this though. Honestly, picking less games and having them make their challenges longer or harder would be so much more fulfilling and entertaining. I love community events. It just really sucks that some of these devs just don't care. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber and this is just my outro. See you guys next week.